Hello, I'm Jorge Ballesteros. I'm here. We are today to comment the second part of the fifth uh, Spania match. As the first part, a video was made uh, a few weeks ago. Uh, today we are going to comment uh, this uh, video in English uh, language. All right. So let's start with uh, the next stage. We have uh, several targets. Uh, the first part of the stage, we have to engage uh, a total of six targets uh, from one single position. Normally, this is not usual, uh, but uh, due to this is not like level three, uh, you can find this kind of things. All right. So here we have um, these targets. All all these targets can be shot from one, from this position. Uh, if you see, if you check, I lean a little bit on my right foot uh, when I shoot the, f the last targets, all right, in order to, to be visible. Uh, later on, you will be able to see the, in the first video camera, with the P POV camera, you will see it better. Okay, <clears throat> after I, exit this position as fast as I can and I engage the next target. If you see, uh, I start looking to the target earlier to coming into the last position. And when I step with the previous uh, foot uh, to the end, I start aiming. So this is how I do it. I put my left foot on the ground and as soon as I put my left foot right there, right, you check it there, right, left foot, I start aiming that target, all right, so I don't wait, I don't wait until I, I'm completely stopped because then it will be too late and I, that will, that will mean to miss uh, some time, right, so uh, when I step with my left foot, I am already aiming that target. All right, so once I place the final foot in the ground, I shoot, all right? I start uh, shooting in a position, shooting on the move. It's not uh, a shooting on the move itself, right? So I start keeping to the next target. I shoot that target on the move, all right? In order to continue my movement to the final position. The final position is gonna be here, okay? Uh, this is because uh, from this position on the yellow circle, I will be able to see this target at the end and this hidden target behind the wheels, right? So I'm coming there, okay, I'm coming here and from this position I'm able to reach these two targets. And most of the shooters went to the end, right? They went to the end. Uh, but uh, if you go to the end, yeah, of course, you see that partial target, you can see it m complete, but uh, you are losing a little bit more, more time because of the distance, all right? Okay, so see, we see here from the POP camera, all right? You see we have these six targets. The first four targets, I'm able to reach it uh, in the standing position. And then I lean a little bit to my right foot in order to see these two, all right? Because uh, I cannot see uh, all the wall, the wall thing uh, from one standing position. So it's a little bit, little bit leaning in the right. Okay, then I come in to the next target. I come in here. And once I point the gun into the target, I shoot this target. I shoot it on the move, all right? And then I go to the end and shoot the last two targets. If you see here, I'm able to see this target only partially, right? But the alpha is full, so uh, for me it's enough. I don't need to, to see much more, and the distance is not very high, you know? It was like something like 10 meters, something like that. So, yeah, it was, it was okay. Okay, let's go for the next stage. Here in the next stage, we have uh, First target on the right, okay, there. Um, I start, if you see my body, 
if you see my body it start moving to the left position I bring the gun to my chest a bit because of the barricade all right a little bit uh, and then I start shooting on the move this target and then I change to the next target without bringing the gun to my chest okay this is something I usually do mainly in targets that can be shot uh, within the three meters right uh, within the, the three meters movement uh, it means uh, if I have a position that is up to three meters I normally don't bring the gun to my chest because uh, uh, otherwise I would miss uh, some time yeah so I come in to the next position yeah I keep I keep walking all the time should try to shoot on the move because this is the way to gain time right here I catch in this target as soon as I come in into this target I start shooting on the move all right and from this position I shoot uh, the target okay this target this target there target there and two plates All right uh, you cannot see here on the video later on you will be able to see it better the other target is only visible from the last position then I do the match chains look how I do the match chains the move it's not a real fast not a real speed uh, match chains but uh, other sometimes you try to do a very fast uh, match chains and, and you miss it so it's better to secure it right so once uh, I come into the last position I shoot if you see from one single position I'm able to reach this target or hidden behind the, the wheels and the target plate plate yeah if you see I put my legs wide open in order to reach two position in one uh, single point yeah two positions two uh, ports right two ports in one standing position yeah here you are going to see in the first uh, camera yeah let's go with slow mo and you check it much better how I do the transitions the gun is all the time up so that uh, helps to gain time right Keeping, you see here that also I keep my gun pointing straight while I'm coming into this last position so I don't point the gun in the last moment I'm pointing previously to reach this position yeah and here I have it in there, yeah? All right, we'll go for the next stage. Let's uh, have a, a complete uh, over, overview of the, of the stage. Uh, I'm proud of this stage. It was my one of my best uh, stages of the match. Uh, I was uh, shooting quite fluently. Um, and the time it was really, really good. Yeah, so... Uh, I comment uh, from the beginning okay here we go let's go back let's go back here okay we start with the <clears throat> target uh, covered partially with a known shoot yeah and then uh, I'm going to the right position where I can see two targets yeah I do the map change and you see here, this is very important, when you have a lot of zigzags in one stage, when you have uh, um, uh, states with corners, right, you, where you have a movement and, and uh, makes, makes you move uh, with a lot of uh, movements, left, right, left, right, it's important to exit correctly from each corner. So what they do here, it's here the sample when I come in into this target right I shoot on the move this target and I enter into the into the um, into the the corner 
yeah? And I shoot to exit clean and exit straight to the next position. So uh, here you can see better the line in the ground where I finish. After shooting this target and the popper, right? The popper at the, the end and the, and the target on the left, my movement is straight to the next position. So I start pointing the two targets on the, on the right while I'm finishing to shoot this part, right? So we shoot this target and I'm already ready to shoot the other two. And also when I shoot this last target, I'm ready to point or at least to move to the next position, yeah? So, so it's like all the time I take the advantage of leaving from this position straight. So I'm, I'm leaving from each corner straight, yeah? And if you see, I keep my gun high in order to see target, target. Yeah? I don't bring it to my chest because otherwise I will lose time. Yeah? Coming into the next target and when I'm pointing, see that here I'm shooting this target okay even when i'm not placed at all i'm not at in the place so i'm shooting when i'm pointing this is this is one of the advantages of pointing the gun earlier sometimes even before of getting into the final position you are able to shoot to shoot this target before entering right so so I'm in the place and I already shot the target. Then I shoot the, the, the swinger. Okay, I was lucky there. I was able to reach the, the swing correctly. If you see, when I do the transition, as soon as I do the transition, the target appears. So uh, this normally uh, makes uh, time enough to shoot uh, two rounds in one, in one uh, swing, yeah? Otherwise, I will have to wait. And here I finish with the last target. And it was a really good split, 0.08. So this really, uh, <laughs> really fast. Uh, I only made it three times in my wall, in my wall for shooting carry. So, so not not happen so often as you as you see. Yeah. So let's see it. And the full speed. The POV camera shooting everything there. That's it. Okay, let's go for to the next stage. Yeah, let's go to the next stage. So we have. Uh, I shoot this target. Then I exit from this position, and I start looking to the next targets if you see i'm shooting while i'm coming huh? it's the same the first target i see is the right one the the one is placed on the right so it's the the first that i shoot and after i shoot the left one um, if you see my position here i'm not coming into this target so far what i do is to stay in the position that let me leave this position straight to the next to the next one, yeah. You see, I'm coming to the next position and I come in straight, yeah. Then I go to the next position and I take the advantage of having here. You cannot see clearly. Later on, you will see better. You have one target on the left. I have the Ayan, probably because of a primer not picking properly. Then shooting these two plates. Then, okay, this is uh, what I did here. Shooting this target, these two plates, target at the end, and then do mag chains. And here it was very important to place correctly to see. Uh, several targets there. Later, I will comment it because here you cannot check it. Uh, okay. 
this uh, Kung Fu technique <laughs> is not very useful, but sometimes I do it when uh, it comes natural. It's not something I really think about it, but uh, yeah, uh, it happens. <laughs> don't know why. Don't, don't know why I do it. <laughs> I don't. I don't think it's so much important. Uh, all right. Here is the the way to shoot. Um, you see. We have a position where I see several targets, but I take the advantage of shooting on the move this target when I come in, right? Yeah, then I have uh, this small break, then I cover back to, to shoot that place, shooting that target at the end. And you know why I'm shooting this target at the end? Because my body is already oriented to the next position. So that's I wanted to do it because if I shoot this target last, my my body is ready to leave this position much better than if my body is uh, pointing in, the, in a straight uh, way. Yeah, and here is what I was telling you before. Here I have two plates, yeah, and one hidden target. So it was very important to place properly I mean uh, my reference it was to place my left foot next to the fall line in order to see perfectly these two plates and my right foot it was a little bit wider it was a little bit separate from my left foot in order to uh, in order to make my body lean to the right side and then shoot the partial uh, target, okay? That is covered with the with the non-shoot there at the end. Yeah, you can see it there. It's uh, it's very important to place it correctly. This is one of the most important things on on, on IPSC is to position correctly. If your position is not good, sometimes your shooting is not good, and this is mainly because you have to do one step more. And then you have to correct in the moment that you are shooting. So this is something you have to think about when doing the wall through. Uh, where, what are the positions of the states, the states, and where you are going to place your feet? This is very, very important. Okay. So here, my left foot was positioned perfectly to shoot these two plates, and my right foot was ready to lean my body into my right foot and then shoot this target, yeah? After I shoot on the move this target, okay, this is the connection, this target was the connection between the plates and this target and the final part of the stage. This target makes the connection between this last position and then shoot the plate, target, plate, plate, and the Kung Fu technique. <laughs> shoot this uh, this uh, last last target yeah okay uh, this is the final stage um, here we have uh, one first position let's uh, put the, the full mode the, the complete uh, stage you can see everything I, here I, I, I was a little bit slow on the transition between that target later we commented. This stage is, has nothing, has not much to comment. But anyway, we will we will try to to, to see uh, the small details. Yeah. Um, here, very important. You have a popper, and you don't want to miss the popper, of course. If you miss the popper, probably your body will be leaving the place, the position, and you have to come back. So it can cost real time. So very important. Here, I hit the popper, and alt until I see the popple is falling, I don't move. This is the typical position, okay, that I have to see how I hit it because because it's a far popper, uh, not easy. So when I do the shooting, I see that this move start moving, then I'm coming out, all right? Uh, this is something that can be applied and may be applied to plates also. Very important, this is a common mistake. 
from a lot of shooters. You are shooting the plates and you are moving or you are uh, changing the, the, the pistol from, from the place earlier to see that the plate is falling. So, uh, <laughs> guys, uh, wait, wait to see it. Wait to see it. It's not uh, important to, to, to shoot full speed when you, you are shooting steels, when you are shooting steels. This is not a steel challenge. This is IPSC. So you have to see how they fall because if you move before you see the plate is fallen, that will cost you at least one second because you have to pick up that shot and coming into the place. <laughs> Minimum, it, it will mean uh, one second miss, one second, uh, pen not penalty, but one second, um, yeah, losing, losing, yeah. All right, here is the same thing. I'm trying to point the gun earlier to come into the next position and I'm shooting this uh, target covered by non-shoot. And if you see, I'm pointing the target and as soon as it appears, I'm shooting already, yeah? So I'm gaining a lot of time, one, two, I'm already in the place and this target is already shot. I shoot this target easy. And this target, I shooting with a position shooting on the move, not even a shooting on the move itself. It's too risky to do shooting on the move with this target. Why? I explain you. It's easy. Uh, it's a non-shoot partial target, and the angle of this target exiting it's really mm, risky. All right. So I try to. Just do one uh, step and with a falling, not even a falling, but a small movement, I shoot that target, yeah? But not shooting on the move. That's too, too much risky. All right, I'm coming to next position. As soon as I reach it, this is a corner, all right? So I cannot, uh, and I'm really close to the, to the barricade. So I cannot um, point the, the target uh, before... Uh, before uh, uh, passing that corner, all right? So I point uh, with my gun, the next target, and here probably I miss a little bit this position because I, yeah, if you see, I was not in the place and I had to do a little bit leaning to see it, okay? It was my fault. It was planned, but... I didn't position uh, correctly. So that cost me half a second, probably. Just because you see here, I should be on the place, but I was not. Then I had to lean a little bit and then I found it, all right? Then I shoot that target. I shoot this target on the move. That is the connection between that position and the next one, yeah? We have we tr have to try always, always to find connection targets that can be shot on the move between the position because that will normally make us gain time. Yeah. Uh, here I do the mag chains uh, and and check how I do the the mag chains. I do it and and check also the how I point my 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 barrel straight. Yeah, I don't do the the mag chains uh, on the left side on the left direction because uh, that could be a disqualification. Yeah, so I always try to keep the safety angle correctly. Then this is the activator. Okay, this is the popper. Is the activator, and then I shoot uh, target. Is the activator I coming back because the swinger can be shot only from this place. And I shoot that target, the swinger, that I was also lucky to get this pass in one only swing. Yeah. And the final one. Yeah. So that's it. Uh, this is uh, the second part of the fifth uh, uh, Spanish match. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. Hope uh, you have learned a little bit if I, I'm, I was able to 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 teach you something uh hope you enjoyed the video hope you like it don't miss and don't uh 
forget to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and all the media coverage. Uh, see you guys. See you soon. Take care. Shoot well.